Hey guys, all right, I'm going to walk you through how to create an opt-in form in Flowdesk that is customized for your brand with all your goodies. So I already have a form in here, so I'm just going to go ahead and clone that in a sec, but I want to show you what it looks like if you're going to create a new form. So you click new form and you just want to figure out which type of pop-up you want. Do you want a pop-up? Um, if you want to do an inline opt-in form, which is great for embedding into a website or things like that. Um, or if you want to do a full page. So if you're going to create like a little landing page, this is where you would do that here. So um, I'm going to show you how to do a pop-up for now. So first one I'm going to show you. So you would just really go through and choose which one you are looking for, whether you want an image or without an image. Um, for pop-ups, I really like an image in there, especially for a product-based business because you're able to showcase a little bit of your brand. So I would advise to do with an image. So um, yeah, I'm going to see which one I want to choose here. This one looks kind of funny. Um, so I'm going to go with this one. So you want to choose your segment. So like which, if you don't have any segments or lists, then you're going to have to create one. But for now, I'm going to put for my website, website pop-up new. So what, the first thing I'm going to do is add an image. So I just took a screenshot of a new freebie that I'm going to have. So I'm going to add that here. So I'm going to see if I can edit this image a little bit. I'm not, it's not really letting me, but um, image on mobile. So these are the preferences that you can put here. So if you want your image to show up on mobile, then you can click that. Um, I don't see why you wouldn't want to, but it's also, this is cutting off on me. So it's not really a great image. So you can see here, um, upload image da -da 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 -da, under 2000 pixels, each dimension. So you kind of just want to play around. I'm just going to now go in here and just choose something that I can use quickly. And then here's you really want where you want to put your like headline. So if this is for your subscription or your product-based business, you know, you want to have that big headline that goes right here. So I would say um, get 10% off. Um, join our whoops. Join our email list and take 10% off your first purchase. Whoops. So keep it super simple on the subscribe. I'm going to change the button color to something else just to kind of show you how it works. So you can also add your brand colors in here. So I'm just going to grab one of the colors down here that I have already added. Um, I kind of like these round buttons. If you click this one, it's, so you can see here, it doesn't fill the circle. Um, and then let's see here, watercolor, button sizing. Okay. Font. So I'm going to change the font to a sans font. So you can kind of go through here. I'm sorry, serif, but you can kind of go through here and change the fonts based on your branding and things like that. One great thing about Flowdesk is the amount of customization you can do. You can really, really create um, beautiful forms just because they do give you a lot of good fonts. So I'm going to change this one again. You want to kind of make sure you change all the fonts in here. So I'm going to change mine to Carlson. You can change the colors. You know, this picture is bothering me, so I'm going to change that. Um, get a splash. I don't know if there's going to be anything good here, but subscription box. Oh, there is. How cool is that? Okay, I'm just going to put this one. So you want, for your pop-up, you know, you want to have a really, really nice image there just to really showcase your brand. 
and that's going to be one easy way. Then you want to see what it looks like on mobile. So this is what a mobile view would look like. So you want to make sure it looks good. And yeah, that's pretty, pretty good to go. Just make sure the fonts are all good for you. You can change some of the customizations in here. You can change the fill color, but it's, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. So, um, you want to go into right here, the email field, you can click edit field. So you can kind of, if you want to switch it, um, things like that. So again, I'm going to change the font because I don't like that Helvita font. I'm going to make sure everything is consistent with the same branding. And then again, you can kind of just play around with the styles here. Um, if you want that one, so whatever you want to do. And then once the form looks pretty good, again, always look at it in the mobile view, but you're going to get more mobile visitors, honestly. So once it looks good, um, you can go to the message. And so this is going to be after they subscribe, you want to have something in there. So I like a custom message. So something like, thank you for subscribing. Go ahead and check your email for your 10% off code. If you don't want to have that and you just want to give them the code right away, then you can put the code in your success message. So this is going to be called your success or form success message. You can also put that in there too. Um, and just make sure again, um, what are the options they're giving you here? Let your subscribers opt into different segments. So, you know, I don't think you need that for a subscription box, but so we're going to skip that for now. Okay, let's go to next. So double opt-in is something that will require your subscribers to like confirm their subscription before um, they, they, it, they have to confirm their subscription basically. So it's recommended that you choose yes, but, <laughs> um, it's even right here, it says no. And it says recommended for conversion. Um, you know, if you write yes, enable opt-in you're you might have less people who will actually get on your email list. So Again, you have to sort of decide what's best for you and email, the best email marketing will tell you, yes, you should enable double opt-in. So let's just pretend we're going to click yes and see what happens. So customize opt-in. So if you do that, then you're going to have to come back to this and you're going to have to edit the double opt-in basically. So you would just click this page. It's honestly super easy, but again, thank you for subscribing. You're almost done. Please confirm your email by clicking the button below. Join the list. Um, I kind of kept it super short and sweet and simple. And then thank you page again, the same thing. So once subscribers like confirm their subscription, they would be brought to this thank you page. So again, I just keep it super simple. You're in. Thank you for joining our email list. Great things are coming to your inbox. So you can kind of do those types of things. Um, all right, let me go back to the form now. So it's really up to you and your decision if you want to enable double opt-in. So if you click yes, you might get less people that will confirm their subscription. And the other thing to think about for a subscription or an e-commerce business is people don't want to have to wait. You know, I just want to give you that one piece of advice. People don't always want to wait and like go and check their email. They kind of are ready for that discount right away. So you have to really think about, do you want to make it easier for people to buy from you right away? If your answer is yes, then, then don't enable opt-in and just have it a single opt-in. And then basically you can give people that discount code in that last step that I showed you and that's it. So I would just figure out what works best for you. Um, I'm going to click no for now. 
And then when this is another really important part, so display the pop-up. So you want to choose one of these two. So you do not want to have immediately. That's basically when a pop-up pops up on your screen the second you go to the website. Those are really irritating um, and you will lose conversion. So I think after 30 seconds or when a visitor scrolls 30%. So I'm going to choose after 30 seconds. I think that's the better choice. Should we show this to return visitors who already subscribed? Um, click no. If people have already subscribed, then you don't want to keep showing that form because it just gets super annoying. When subscribers opt into this form, notify me or do not notify me. So I personally do not ever want to get notified when people subscribe to my email list. So I'm going to click no. If you are a new business and you want to know everything, then click yes. And then after this form is submitted, so that really depends on what you are looking to do in your business. You can either click that display success message that we did in here, or you can click redirect to a URL. So it's kind of up to you. Um, I think putting the display message, you know, is fine. Um, I would basically then put your website link here and that's it. And then basically here's what you have to do is you have to you have to install the code. So this is where you have to, you know, look at Shopify and basically take this code and install it in your head tag in your Shopify code. So again, you might get a little bit stuck here. You can basically always reach out to Shopify and ask them, you know, how do I do this? They're really, really helpful with things like that. But this is basically how you would create a pop-up form in Flowdesk for a Shopify store. Um, and this is really the last step. I, I don't have a Shopify store, so I can't show you how to add the header code, but they will definitely have lots of tutorials on how to do that. So hopefully the, hopefully you guys found this helpful. I absolutely love Flowdesk. I've been using it for about two years and they just make it really easy to get started with email marketing and for product-based business i do love klaviyo but flowdesk is a great place to kind of get started they make it super easy the forums are so beautiful and customizable so i am a huge fan of flowdesk so if you guys love this video please be sure to tap the subscribe button and give me a thumbs up all right i'll see you soon